As a society say, we're sorry. Today in a courthouse in Queens, the district attorney tried to do just that. Three men in prison for years and, it turns out, wrongly convicted. Human error? No. The judge calling this a glaring failure. Sorry won't change the past, of course, but in this case, it might open the future. Here's Iowa News reporter Anthony Carlo. Armand McLeod spent 28 years of his life behind bars. Reginald Cameron, more than eight. This may be a day of reckoning, but it's also a day of relived pain. It was like I was breathing, but I was dead. Both men now breathing a sigh of relief. Their convictions vacated Thursday. The pair were found guilty in a 1994 deadly shooting, but a review of the case found their confessions were elicited by a detective who had gotten false confessions in other cases, like the Central Park Five rape. I was handcuffed to a, a refrigerator handle, you know? They said, they said it was 13 hours, it felt like 13 days. You start to believe what they're saying to you is true. In a separate case, Earl Walters sharing a similar bittersweet moment. He finally got an apology on behalf of the court from Judge Michelle Johnson. That failure in this court's opinion is inexcusable. Walters spent two decades behind bars for the vicious abductions and robberies of two women in 1992. But a review of that case by Queens DA Melinda Katz found new fingerprint evidence that tied the crimes to three other men. Walters and his family can move on. You make good enough memories to make to push the bad ones out. It's a victory for these men and their families who saw the ugly side of the criminal justice system. Maybe they'll find it in their hearts to forgive, but certainly not forget. The death of the people that I never get to see anymore. That's not going to, you know, they can't bring those, those moments back. Um, so, yeah, no, they didn't write a wrong. They admitted a wrong. Their convictions based solely on confessions, confessions that prosecutors say were based on the wrong facts.